Well, Harvey, it's been a whirlwind 24 hours for you, but when you win a football match, it must have been all worthwhile. Yeah, it's brilliant. You know, uh, three points any any week's great, but you know, against top of the league as well, it's just a little bit better. So, when exactly did you did you join up and sort of get to chat to the squad? So I drove up uh, set off at five o'clock on Friday morning. Uh, got all the paperwork done and then trained Friday with them. Right. <laughs> and obviously, I mean, really difficult in those circumstances uh, to, to learn too much. Uh, did you watch any videos? Again, did you done a bit of research into Trammy before you actually said yes? I mean, it came. I knew I knew of it in the past, but then I got told that it wasn't going to happen. Um, so I was kind of getting my head around staying where I was. And then it was kind of, like I say, the Thursday, I just got told, yeah, you can go. So I was like, brilliant. So I was just literally <laughs> packing my stuff up and getting myself up here. Yeah. <laughs> Because even before the game, and I'm, tell me if I'm wrong, but I thought it was even Chris Merry seemed to come up to you and say it was almost like, where would you like the ball past you, or where should I play it to you, sort of thing, as if they were trying to find out even before they started the game. Yeah, we're just going to have to learn on the job. Do you know, what I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get used to how everyone plays here. I mean, the lads today were brilliant. The balls we were putting in were, were great. It was just, you know, getting that connection with everyone, and, uh, Kane up top, and that, you know, just learning how people like to play. Yeah, uh, it's a big deal, isn't it, having somebody so experienced as, as Kane alongside you as well? I mean, that that will really help you. Yeah, it's brilliant. Like I say. It's, it's learning on the job, you know. He's he's great, some great to work with. Um, and like you say, great to get learn off. And straight away you're in the action. I think you turned one of their players in just about the first minute, didn't you? You showed them what your pace could cause problems for them. Yeah, I mean that's what, like that's what I like to do. Um, and like you say, hopefully when you learn what the other lads are like and they learn what I'm like, we'll get more like that. And of course, playing today against the you know, the side with the best defensive record in League Two as well. I mean, Tramway are third in the defensive stakes, but I mean, then you know, they're the top one, so you couldn't have asked for a, a more difficult debut. No, right. Eh? Like I say, it's uh, it's it's minutes on a pitch. Uh, you're never going to complain with that. Uh, well, like I say, I thought the lads were brilliant today, um, especially defensively. Uh, you know, we, we held on all the way to the end, and you know, got that goal. Yeah. I mean, you've got pace, but there's a lot of pace around the, the side as well. I mean, you know, Josh Dakers Cogley obviously instrumental in the goal that went in in the end. But I mean, you know, Josh is a as a fullback. He's always, always looking to join in. Yeah, like I say, it's great. You know, you're not the only one who's running. You got, you, like I say, you got lads with pace around you. We're going to get up the pitch, and you know, it's just going to be our job to get in the box and finish them chances. <laughs> A few other clubs sniffing and, and, and asking, would you come to see them as well? I mean, you know, was that part of your conversations? No, like I say, I think it's been a long time coming. It's, it's a big club, and as soon as I knew about it, I, I wanted to come here straight away. Yeah, because the gaff has been saying, you know, even in the summer, you know, you, you were one of those players that you know he'd looked at, and at that stage, you know, you know Joey Barton just wasn't keen on, on, on getting getting rid of you. Yeah, like I say, it was backwards and forwards. I was packed. I wasn't packed. You know, I was I was ready to come in the in the summer, and then you know I had to wait. But you know, I'm glad I'm here now. And when you look at the table, I mean, you know, Tramia, I think we moved up to 13th today, but it's, it's so concertinaed in this division, and you're within four points of the playoffs now, so if you can get that consistency now, there's a real chance to push on and perhaps be playing Bristol Rovers next season in League One. Absolutely. Um, you know, we, we did it last season with Bristol Rovers. It, it's easy enough to do it this season with us. I say easy enough, it's not easy. But, you know, <laughs> if, we get, if we get that run of games going, yeah. it's, it's definitely possible, yeah. Yeah. As you say, you've, you've seen it first down, and I mean, that's a message you can give to the rest of the squad as well, is you know, never give up sort of thing, because you know, this division can can change around so so quickly. Yeah, like I say, with the squad and the team we've got, uh, you know, it's definitely it's definitely doable. Mm. Uh, and obviously, pace is is certainly one of your your big assets, I would think. And that closing down from the front. I mean, even today when it was just you up there, the ball was you know sent long forward, and it looks as if the defence were really panicking and just hitting the ball out of play because they were worried about what you're going to do to them. Yeah, I think that's what I like to do. It's what I like to bring to the game. And um, so, like I say, if we can help the team, that's that's great. Uh, and goal scoring. I mean, you know, Trammy this season they've created lots of chances, but it, it, they've not always been able to get that first or that second goal to, to close games out. Is that something in your game that you have, or is, is that an area where you think you have to improve? Obviously, everyone can improve in it. Um, like I say, I've never really had a run of games yet, and I'm hoping here that I can come and do that, get me confidence, and you know, start adding goals to my game. Yeah. Yeah, and the yeah, partnerships are really important, aren't they? You know, and if you can establish that, you seem to have a bit of a link up already this afternoon. But you know, if you can get that linkage with Kane, that'll make a big difference. Absolutely. Yeah, like I say, it's just going to learn on the job. You know, take every day as it comes and get them partnerships going. On the second half, you know, the, the, the fans were making a lot of noise and always sucking the ball towards their goal. I mean, uh, it can be a great atmosphere at Tram here as well. You know, and a great community club. Yeah, you know. You it's a massive help, especially when you you got fans like that. You know you don't want to come places like this because, like I say, the fans do well massively when they're like that. And looking at the League Two table, I mean, as I say, you know we're only just past the halfway stage now, but you know, really think the tram can have a real good go at, at getting into the playoffs at the very least. Absolutely, like you say, we, we've just beat up the table there, so I mean, there's no reason why we can't. 
and looking around the squad as well, you know, the, there's a lot of experience there. You mentioned Kane, but obviously you've got Tom Davis and the Turnbull at the back as well. You know, the Brad Walker's arrived from Port Vale, who, who went up with them last season. You know, there's some good experienced players around, so a good mix of youth and experience. Yeah, that's what you need. You know, you need the youth, the hunger, and you need that experience as well to, you know, drag us through. And you're 25 now. I mean, you, you started Darlington, you were at, weren't you, before you went to Fleetwood? So you, you, you sort of made your way through that, and then you followed Joey from Fleetwood to Bristol Rover. So you, you've had that sort of journey yourself where you've had to sort of learn and, and push yourself up to a high level. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I say, I started late. I've had to learn you know kind of faster you know I've not had that experience before in the academy or anything like that I've gone through the non-league route but you know I wouldn't change anything you know I'm, I'm happy I'm playing football and this is this what it's about yeah I mean, I mean, you know, what does that bring? Do you think from that perspective? Because as you say, when you've started late and then you've had that opportunity, does that make you even more hungry? Absolutely. You know, I've had I've had a job which I, I didn't like. You know, <laughs> you know, no one likes them them jobs, and like I say, it, it's the best thing to do is play football, the best job in the world. And uh, I sort of the only thing missing today was it was a goal, but I don't really think a chance sort of fell today. I mean, as I say, Orient have got a very very organised defence, but uh, it'll come, I'm sure. Hopefully, yeah. You know, I'm just I'm chomping the bit to get it. So hopefully, it'll come soon. And fitness-wise, you know, the boss had no hesitation starting you today, so you, you feel you're match fit and you're sharp already. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll give 100% every time, no matter what. So, uh, you know, I haven't had, like I say, I haven't had a lot of games recently, but hopefully, it'll, uh, it'll fall play soon. Well, you may have only had a 65 minutes on the pitch today, but uh, I get the feeling you've, you've become a bit of a crowd favourite already. So you've made a good impression. If it was your audition, you know, carry on from that. Yeah, brilliant. You know, that's what it's, that's what you want. Then. But yeah, like I say, I'll do that every week if I can. Yeah. Appreciate your time, and uh, we'll look forward to that first goal. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you.